a really disturbing case of bullying is caught on video. Their target, an autistic boy. Why is you run it? Two videos posted on Facebook show the three teenagers taunting an autistic student repeatedly. At one point in the video, the teenager is chased into the street just as traffic goes by. Being a victim, having gone through what you went through, how can I, as a parent, explain to my child, if my child is a bully, exactly what they are doing to another human being? Well, I mean, what I do when I speak to middle schools and high schools is tell them my own personal story. The thing is, is it's not just looking out for bullying victims, but we're looking out for the bullies, too, because they're children. I'd like to believe that when they set out on their day, they're not looking to make trouble. They don't understand, perhaps, the repercussions. But when you're talking to people, children that might be bullies or talking to kids about the bullying situation, I think the best thing to do... Uh, is share stories. Don't ch don't shelter your child from the bevy of situations uh, that are occurring all over the United States of children being bullied, hospitalized, uh, suicide stemming from bullying. Don't shelter your child from that. Be honest with them about the repercussions uh, and the seriousness uh, and the reality behind their actions. Parents at home, we may not have any idea that our child is bullying someone, but some of the warning signs has extra money, belongings, has friends who bully others, needs to win or, or be the best. Um, can you give us some specifics? What would raise suspicion? Well, I think, first of all, it's very important to distinguish that within a school, there are typically two types of bullies. And one of the things I do, because I speak in schools all across the country, like Michael, and I share with kids that it's not just joking around, bullying damages you for life. And there are two kinds. The bullies that we saw today in the case of Jacob Appel are what I call the overt schoolyard bullies. They bully in traditional ways. And then you have something in schools that was more of the Phoebe Prince variety, which I call the elite tormentor. These are the mean members of the cool crowd who use exclusion, who use sarcasm, and who use ostracism as a means to wield their power. And a lot of times within schools, these elite tormentors get by with it because they're beloved by their teachers. They participate in extracurricular activities. They're respectful of their elders. And no one suspects 